Hello there! I'm super excited to show you my empties today. I have so many favorites in here because I just run out of them super quickly, but I, I'm excited because now I get to try out a ton of other products that I've had in my stash that I haven't tried yet and I've been like itching to open them and at least smell them but I haven't done that because I want to make sure that opening them I've heard or some people follow the rules some don't opening a product to smell it makes it so that you have less time to use it up and I don't know if I want to do that with a lot of my higher end uh, products that seem to last longer because they're more concentrated so now I want to get into this uh, I have a box right by me and let's get started this right here is an empty um, that has happened several times and I'm currently working through another one and I'm pretty sure I threw out one container already um, but yeah these are really handy to keep and uh, use as travel containers for example this has my favorite conditioner and this has my favorite gel this is the um, general, value, general value products uh, conditioning balm and this is the Aussie instant freeze gel but the container itself is for the Garnier Fructis finishing paste I use this to refresh with it and hopefully soon here I'll get to filming a video on that. Uh, I hope I hope I have the time soon. So now next we have the the very very loved Oh god. Oh goodness. I just I just love this. It's 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 I I have no words. I don't think I'm ever going to find a conditioner that I like better than this. Yeah, sure, I'll work through the other two that I have. One from uh, Raw Curls, one from Sweet Moisture, one from Diva Curl now. I'll work through those. Maybe Diva Curl will throw this one out of the stash. I don't know yet, but this is amazing. I am I'm just going to repurchase it as many times as need be I have cut and wiped the inside of three of these bottles and I've only discovered it at the beginning of this year it must have been at the beginning of this year it's it's just it's just too good to be true it's just too good it's too good and it's cheap and it lasts forever and I love it. If you haven't tried it, you have to try it. And now I finished this huge bottle of Aussie Instant Freeze Gel. This is not the packaging for Aussie Instant Freeze Gel, but <laughs> I put it in here because the pump is just so much more convenient. I finished the whole thing. 32 ounces. It was full. It was like, it was like full. Um, yeah, it's, it's great. If you haven't tried Aussie Instant Freeze Gel. You must. You just gotta do it. You just gotta do it. This one, I haven't liked. But the Aussie, like, the Instant Freeze Gel, that one, that one is great. This, uh, I was so hopeful, but it just hasn't worked very well. I finished it because I've been using, like, tons of it to finish it, um, because I spent the money, but... I, I don't recommend it. I'm not going to spend time on that one. This right here is almost gone. It's almost gone. Um, the African Black Soap Shea Moisture Dandruff Control Hair Mask. My scalp has always had issues of some sort. Either being sore or itchy or flaky or dry. Or uh, sometimes there's like some really dry spots that start to get itchy and then I uh, hurt my scalp and suddenly there's a scab now. So this has truly, truly helped to soothe that. And I noticed that it's one that has a protein higher up in the ingredients list than my other 
um, treatments. So this is what I was using before uh, actually trying a DIY protein treatment with gelatin, which is what I'm doing now if I'm missing protein. But yeah, this is this is this is great. I got it at TJ Maxx for really cheap. It doesn't have the tag anymore, but it was really cheap. And I'm pretty sure I'm gonna repurchase it when I run out. Because it's it's almost gone. So next, um, this has a shampoo in it, I think, for travel sizing, but this is the Design Essentials Natural Honey uh, Curl Forming Custard. It smells amazing, feels amazing. I just don't know about the metal and what was the other one that I think was making my hair just dry. Um, it felt dry, it felt not great, but I finished it using little by little let's see it was it was nettle and something along those lines i'm sorry i can't i can't find it i'm i'm reading too fast but i'm not gonna repurchase this i don't love it enough to repurchase it i do have my um curl maker sorry my curl maker and that is from Camille Rose Naturals that one feels very similar to the custard to me so I'm I'm still working through well I'm actually starting to work through that one it's it's pretty full next I have the all inspiring spray from Jessie Curl I I'm not gonna repurchase this. I feel like I should just keep the bottle and fill up with water and figure out how to refresh with water because it hasn't worked for me. But I don't feel like the spray did very much. Yeah, I'm not gonna repurchase this. Next, something that I will repurchase is the leave-in conditioner uh, coconut, the coconut kind from Eden Body Works. I am almost out and yeah I, I want to make sure that I have a replacement before I run out because it's really good. I've been using it as a leave-in normally in the shower but also when I refresh or style my hair up I try and make sure that I have some face framing curls and I wet them and then use this on them and it just makes them spring up and be super happy and I love it. Next, we have this, which I haven't figured out. Um, a friend of mine gave it to me about halfway because she didn't love it and I haven't loved it. I've heard raving about, raving reviews <laughs> about this one, but it just hasn't worked. I, I, I don't know, I don't know why I'm not getting it. I don't know why I'm not getting it. Um, on Instagram, somebody did give me a tip to squish to condition with it um, after my leave-in or replacing a leave-in so I've got to try that yet I love how it smells most Eva Curl products smell like candy which is an acquired taste I guess but I, I do like the scent wasn't even spending on the nozzle <laughs> Yeah, it is, it is really good. The scent. I just haven't decided if I'm going to repurchase it because I haven't figured out how to use it. Or it might not work for my hair. That'd be sad. Next is uh, Cantu Styling Custard. Um, yeah, I'm not going to repurchase this. It has almost no hold. And I was looking to use this as a single styler, which it did not work for that. Um, I did use it up though. I just used it um, before using my hard hold gel. And it was sort of a filler, I guess. Smells nice. Smells like the, um, the activator 
which I've already used a bottle of that and I do love the activator. I think I'll repurchase that sometime. But I I have some greens right now that I should work through before repurchasing that one. Um, this one I absolutely loved. It was so good. I could see my curls just springing up after using it. It is the Curls R Us Curl Definer. I have not heard of this. I received it through a box. It's called the Curl Kit box and it is sold on their website. Shipping is too much and the ounces are not worth the price in my budget. So I'm not going to repurchase this but it was great. I just feel like something else can do the same. For example, the activator from Cantu does a similar um, process where you spread it out and you can see your curls springing. Um, but yeah, it's just four ounces and I believe it's like $10 or $8 and I don't feel like it it's worth the money or the shipping. Next, <laughs> I've used a travel size of this, a full size of this, and this one. Yeah, it's bad. I know the alcohol is not great for my hair and it does feel a little bit build up -y when I have to wash it after using it, but... Some days I just don't have the time to do a wash and this saves the day. Yep, if you haven't tried a tea, you should. Uh, TJ Maxx has it half half the price of everywhere else. Um, I do not like it that TJ Maxx doesn't have the brunette kind. So maybe next time I'll be trying a, a normal one with just a different scent. But the brunette kind has really been awesome for me. That's <laughs> I had to empty four to do the 32 bottle with the pump. So yeah, these are squeezed out to the max. I mean, if I collected what's left in all four, I could maybe style once. Maybe. For half of my hair. But yeah, I'm just gonna toss them. It's, it's such a good gel. If you haven't tried it, you should. It works in the summer, it works in the winter. With all dew points. It's so good. Next, I have a hard hole gel. My issue with this was the scent. I don't love the scent um it is really hard hold sometimes it would make my hair feel crunchy even after scrunching out the crunch with an oil so maybe it was too intense or i was overdoing it but i might repurchase this i might not if i find another another hard hold gel to replace it i might try that um please recommend anything in the comments i would love to know what your favorite hard hold gel is like super super hard hold because the instant freeze is, is something that you can wear with your hair down and let it air dry this i don't think you could i actually plop in a hairnet when i use this because otherwise it would be like not good it's too stiff it just leaves your hair too stiff next i've got some samples these are from Jesse Curl. I have not purchased the full sizes of these. So that lets you know that I didn't love these. But it's Rocking Ringlets Styling Potion, Confident Coil Styling Solution, and Spiralicious Styling Gel. If I were to purchase any of these, it would be the Rocking Ringlet Styling Solution, Styling Potion. I would repurchase it um, to use underneath a... A gel like this one probably and I would just wear my hair down on that day have it be a wash and go and next is one of my absolute loves this is just amazing it is called the sleek and shine zero silicone it doesn't have any silicones uh, smoothing like spray it's not a smoothing spray it just isn't. I have used this as a hold mist. B 
because it's a whole mist. That's, that's all I can say. Like the ingredients let you know that it's meant for hold. Um, I love it. I use it to spray it on my hair if I didn't get it all covered in gel if I was rushing or I use it to refresh so I spray it on a section that has gone limp or is just straight and then I wrap it around two fingers pin it in place and let it dry it's, it's just amazing and it smells so good like whenever I wore this I would get so many compliments on how I smell and I don't wear cologne or perfume or deodorants with a lot of scents it's my hair products that gave me compliments on my scent <laughs> so that's about it for this video i hope you enjoyed it and that you have some new recommendations for things to try out um thank you so much for watching i will see you next week <laughs>